Hey all you cool cats and kittens, so today we're moving on with water. Let's go. So if you guys remember back to the good old days of LGS Volume 2, you'll remember a little guy named Tux. He pretty much was making people freak out, and he was the lone penguin, but now his buddies have shown up. And as you guessed it, yes, all of these penguins revolve around stunning, which was something Tux could only do. But now we got a bunch of things that can stun. And blue is looking really cool. But anyway, I digress. So our first common for today is Pengobi Conran. It's a one-cost unit with 500 power. It says this card gains instacast in your hand while your opponent controls a stun unit. And then it has an arrive that says you may stun target unit with cost one or less. Uh, very, very cool card, being able to be a one-cost instacast unit while also being able to stun something with cost one or less is nice. Um, you know, it has a lot of contingencies with it, obviously. Um, so I don't know if this is going to be played. As you'll see, there's plenty of really good stun cards in here. I don't think they're going to need this guy. So next up, we got Pengushi Kaido. It's two-cost unit, 1,500 power, Samurai Penguin. And it reads, while your opponent controls a stun unit, this card gets plus 1,000. Whenever this card declares an attack, you may destroy target stun unit. Uh, interesting card here. So 2 cost, 1,500 power is, is right where it needs to be. Getting the additional 1,000 is a bonus. You're most likely going to have stunned things on your opponent's side of the field because there's a lot of options for blue in this set. Uh, and then being able to get rid of any target that's stunned is kind of nice. Um, it is conditional and situational. Again, I don't know how I feel about these cards. Um, it might be worth it to play as one, because even if it doesn't get those effects, a two drop for 1,500 is not terrible. And then the added effect of being able to actually clear something is kind of nice, so maybe one of is warranted. So our first spell is Ice Breath First Form Cryo Strike. It's a one-cost spell that reads Stun Target Unit with cost two or less. If that unit was already stunned, destroy it instead. This card is very good. Uh, it can be searched with Animated Spellbook uh, if it's destroyed. Uh, being able to stun something cost two or less with a cost of one is really nice, and then being able to destroy it if it's already stunned is even better. But uh, yeah, I, I like this one. I think this is a pretty good addition to this stun mechanic. You know, one cost is fantastic. Moving on, we got Pengushi Damio Kenshin. These names are really testing me. <laughs> Three cost unit, 2,000 power, Samurai Penguin. And it reads, while your opponent controls a stun unit, this card gets plus 1,000 and cannot be targeted by spells or abilities. Uh, not a huge fan of this card. Really doesn't do anything but become a beefcake. So, um, I don't know. I, d I don't like it. Now we're looking at Hand of Pengiro. It's a two cost unit with 1,000 power, Penguin. And it has an arrive ability that says, look at the top three cards of your deck. You may add a penguin unit among them to your hand. Place the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. Uh, again, not I've said in the last video, but I'm not a huge fan of cards that where you just look at things and then put them back or add. Because you could miss and it does nothing. And on top of that, it's a two cost unit with a thousand power. So it can't even break all towers um, for the cost for something where you can miss on. So again, kind of a swing and miss on this one. Next, we got Pengushi Ronin. It's a one-cost unit, Samurai Penguin, that reads, while your opponent controls a stun unit, this card gets plus 1,000 and gains Guardian. So this is uh, a decent one, in my opinion. Uh, one cost, 1,000 power, is nice, so you can break the smaller towers with them already. And then on top of that, one cost for 2,000 and Guardian, uh, if you meet his uh, requirements, is pretty cool. So... Uh, I don't mind this one. I think it's it's decent. It should definitely be looked at in any kind of penguin deck, I think. Moving on to Ping Guardian Mystic, two cost unit with a thousand power, Mystic Penguin. And it reads pay one, sacrifice this card, stun target unit. Uh, so interesting here. Um, it's not an exhaust ability, which is nice. Paying one and then sacrificing it uh, to stun something is nice. I think this is uh, a nice option. It is a bummer that it's a thousand power but uh, probably warranted for that effect, being able to stun on command if it's targeted or anything like that. It's pretty nice, so 
uh, again, kind of a decent option here to kind of poke at towers and then also have the ability to stun on command. So kind of like this one too. Now we're looking at Secret Pengutsu Glacial Clones. Two cost spell with Instacast that reads return target attacking or blocking unit you controlled to its owner's hand. And if you do, put two clone tokens into play. Uh, interesting here. A couple things to note. I, I don't, at least off the top of my head, I don't know of cards for blue that, at least in this set, whenever you attack, you get some kind of benefit. So... If that is the case, this card obviously plays well with that. It does play into the Arbiter mechanic that we talked about uh, in the last video where you can tap units. So you can return a unit for two, save it, and then also have two units on your field to tap and then uh, reduce the cost of the Arbiter. But overall, uh, I'm not, I mean, I, I'm not a huge fan of this. It's kind of similar to the air card that we saw yesterday for zero cost. The fact that you need to be uh, attacking or blocking, and it's your own unit for two costs, I don't know. It, I mean, I know you get two two things to replace it, but overall, not a huge fan. Uh, one thing, you know, another thing to note is Blue has in the past paired well with Great Behemoth uh, to boost up your weenies like Animated Spellbook with Mara and things like that. So uh, it could play into that, I don't know, but at first glance, not a huge fan. Now we're looking at Snowtop Village Pangardia. It's a two-cost augment, and it's a location, so new augment type. We talked about that in the first video. And it says, exhaust, expel target water unit you control, and then exhaust, pay two, put target water unit expelled by this card into play. So this card's really cool, kind of a flash mechanic here. Um, there have been some rulings that came down on this. Basically, if you have, uh, a sn if you have this card, and you expel a water unit, and then it gets destroyed, and then you bring out another Snowtop Village. You cannot then exhaust that Snowtop Village, pay to and get the water unit back. It needed to be expelled with that copy of this card, and then brought back with this same copy that expelled it. So that is something to note. But obviously the flash mechanic is really good. This with Mayu is nuts. Uh, Mayu will continue to be a problem as they print more and more cards. Uh, but anyway, this is this is neat because uh, the flash mechanic will work with arrive abilities. Uh, just to let you know, we've seen that already with uh, things from the third set, like the silver generals. But yeah, this card's obviously good. So pen guardian pupil, uh, we already went over in my uh, spoiler video with the Argent air card. Not much to talk about it. You know, one cost, one thousand power with the instacast. Pretty cool. Uh, the fact that it has Instacast is really nice. Uh, being able to flash it in on your opponent's turn so it can then attack the next turn is kind of nice, especially late game. It's a form of quickness. So uh, other than that, you know, kind of vanilla, but still kind of cool. All right, so now we're looking at Glacial Shuriken, which they should have just called it Shuriken. Glacial Shuriken. And this is Penguin version of Ryu or Ken. And it is a two-cost spell with Instacast that simply reads Stun Target Unit. I like this card. Uh, plays right into the theme of blue in this set for a pretty low cost and Instacast. So I do like this. Uh, it is competing with things like Phantasmal Storm and things like that. But this may find its way in based on other cards that we're going to see later. Uh, that depend on things being stunned or having additional benefits if things are stunned. So, uh, decent little card here, especially for a common. All right, now we're looking at Snowtop Hibagon. It's a three cost unit, 2000 power. It's a beast, so uh, maybe some possibilities with air here. It reads Arrive. If you control a penguin unit, you may stun target unit. So, being able to stun something if you control another penguin unit is kind of nice, but a three cost I think is a little high just for that effect. So, uh, I don't know. Not too fantastic in my opinion. The last common is Kumakori's Totem. One cost augment that reads water units get plus 500 for each stunned unit your opponent controls. So that could spiral a little bit, and it has a ruined ability that reads you may stun target unit. So very, very cool card here. Um, being able to buff up your guys based on how many stunned units your opponent controls is really cool. And then on top of that, if your opponent tries to uh, destroy this, uh, you get the added benefit of stunning something. So 
really cool. I think it's a very nice little augment, especially for cost of one. It can really pump up your little weenie penguins, so uh, pretty cool. I like this one for sure. All right, moving on to the rares now. We have Snowtop Elemental, two cost unit, thousand power, and it simply reads arrive, stun target unit. I really like this one. I think this is a better version of the guy we just saw that benefit from having a penguin type on there. I know he's a little stronger, but he also costs one more, and he does the same thing as this guy, but he needs a penguin. So the fact that this guy can just stun something on command as soon as it comes out is very nice. So I do like this one. It's a solid rare. It obviously would have been awesome if it was a penguin, but hey, can't always get what you want. Mick Jagger said it best. Next, we got Pengobi Kishu. It's a three-cost unit with 1,500 power and insta-cast, and it reads stun target unit that came into play this turn, and if you do, draw a card. So this one's really cool, too. Obviously, uh, lower power for a three-cost unit, but having insta-cast, uh, you know, he's, he's got to be a little lower than that. But he also stuns something and replaces himself. So very, very nice addition. You pair him with that augment. He's already up to 2,000. Uh, so yeah, very, very cool. I like this one. This is a solid rare as, as well. Uh, pairs nicely with the penguin archetype. Alrighty, and our last rare is Ice Breath Second Form Cryostorm. So we saw its first form in common, and now the rare is its second form. It's a three-cost spell and reads, while your opponent controls a stun unit, Neither player can add to the queue in response to this card. Water units you control get plus 1,000 and cannot be targeted by spells or abilities. So this is this can be super devastating at the end of the game for sure. Not being able to respond to it is nuts because it also then gives your units uh, pretty much you know free reign to do whatever they want. They can't be targeted. Uh, and plus 1,000 to all of your units. So very cool. Three costs is a little high, but it's a great finisher. Uh, I don't know how many you'd run. One might be enough, but yeah, this is this is a really great finishing card for sure. can be very devastating. All right, now on to the super rares. Now we have Pengiro's Decree. It's a three-cost spell that reads this card costs one less to play for each stun unit your opponent controls. And it reads, draw two cards. Whenever a stun unit your opponent controls is put into the discard zone, you may add this card from your discard zone to your hand. This card is really cool. Really, really digging this design. It, I mean, it essentially can be zero, which is nuts. It's a free draw two, so it'd be a free plus one, and then it could keep coming back. Uh, it's great. Fantastic. I think you probably only need to play one of it, uh, but... I don't see anything wrong with playing multiples, uh, especially if you're going full stun route. Uh, you know, a Tux can pretty much make this card free by uh, soul bursting and stunning all of your opponent's units, uh, depending on the time of the game. So uh, really cool. Like this one for sure. All right, our next super rare is the Arbiter for this element. It's Arctic Arbiter, 6 cost unit, 4,000 power. It also has that same ability as all of the other Arbiters where you can tap a number of water units to reduce its cost to play it. And then also your units uh, all gain unblockable, which is a pretty good effect. I still think the air one's a little better than this. And then it says ignore the effects of your opponent's water tower. Never a bad thing. I do think the water tower is probably one of the weaker ones. Uh, you know, you're looking for the fire or wind most likely. They're usually the game changers. Dark can be pretty devastating too, depending on... Uh, time of the game but anyway pretty good card all of these arbiter cards i think are, are are worth a look to fit in the deck for sure and our last super rare is pengobi jonin mochizuki <laughs> these names man four cost unit two thousand power with instacast and it reads whenever this card declares an attack you may stun target unit whenever a unit becomes stunned you may draw a card this card's really good. Uh, high cost, four four cost for two thousand power is, it's it's steep. But being able to draw a card any time a unit becomes stunned, it can be your unit, it can be your opponent's unit, obviously, and it doesn't need to be from this card's effect. So anytime it's stunned, you'll be able to draw a card. This card is going to keep your hand size really replenished. 
love this card. I think I think this is is a key piece in any kind of penguin deck for sure. Really, really nice. All right, now we're going to look at the Argent for this element. We are looking at Pangiro Emperor of Pangardia. Four cost unit, 2,500 power, and he is fancy looking for sure. He has a arrive ability that says, look at the top five cards of your deck. You may add a penguin unit among them to your hand. Place the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. And then he has an exhaust ability where you exhaust him and pay one and then put a penguin unit with cost three or less from your hand into play. So, you know, I've been saying I really dislike those arrive abilities where you just look at things and then add something because you can miss. Uh, but this does, you know, play into his second effect. And he's also looking at five. So you have a greater chance of hitting it. And then after you use his arrive, then on your opponent's turn, you can then exhaust him, pay that one, bring out the penguin unit that you probably added to your hand with that cost three or less, and then you're in business. So really nice. This is a great addition, I believe. Uh, most of the penguins are less than three cost. Obviously, the best one is that four cost one where you're drawing every time something is stunned. But hey. Uh, you know, that would, maybe, maybe they play tested that and it was way too overpowered, so they reduced it to three, but still very good. I like this guy a lot. I mean, I don't know how you can dislike such a fancy emperor. Look at his eyebrows. His eyebrows are glorious. All right, moving on. And now the big daddy secret rare for this element. We got Kumakori, Pangardian Tutlari, <laughs> I don't know if I said that right, 5 cost unit, 3,500 power, legendary deity, deity, deity. So it's a guardian, and it has an arrive ability, or whenever a water unit you control is targeted by opponent's spell or ability, you may choose one. So you can either draw a card, stun target unit, or destroy tar target stun unit. Uh, very interesting here. I, I have to say, though, I'm not super impressed with this. Uh, obviously it needs to get off the board quickly or things can spiral, but, uh, I don't know. I, I just, I guess it is as many times per turn. It's not like a once per turn thing. So I don't know. See, I'm already talking myself out of it. Uh, obviously if it hits the board, things are going to get pretty nutty. Uh, you're most likely going to be stunning things or destroying stunned units. But uh, also having the ability to draw a card. And then having Guardian, yeah, I guess it's really good. So, yeah, <laughs> I guess it's really good. Uh, and, you, you know, it doesn't have any special, you know, requirements. You don't need a Penguin unit or anything like that. Just any water unit, whenever it's targeted, you get to do one of those things. So it's obviously going to be the prime target of things like the Corona Shard. Um, which actually is now funny that we have a shard that's called Corona. Uh, or is it? Anyway, that's your secret rare for this element. And then, last but not least, we got the new champ for this element in this set. And we got Penguardian Legend Hanzo, which is a fantastic name for the penguin. So, he is the champ, and it reads, Whenever a unit your opponent controls becomes stunned, you may put the top card of your deck under this card. If it was a penguin, you may draw a card. Once per turn, put two cards from under this card on the top or bottom of their owner's deck in any order, and then ignore the effects of target non-destroyed tower. Now, I believe there was a ruling that said that this uh, second effect, ignoring the effects of the tower, was uh, just for that turn. It was not permanent. If it was, that would have been nuts. Uh, but still, really cool addition. I don't know if you're going to use him over, you know, like Jamile or anything like that. But I, I definitely think he could warn it in a full-out Penguin deck, for sure. Uh, being able to draw a card and then ignoring tower effects is pretty nuts. So, uh, yeah, really nice addition. But that will conclude Water, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm really excited for the Penguins. They're really cool, really cool looking, and they're cute to boot. So uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. See you.